Today in art, we're gonna be talking about labyrinths. A labyrinth is an ancient maze. A labyrinth can be made out of many different objects. A labyrinth can just be a drawing. Archaeologists believe that labyrinths are over two to 3,000 years old. This ancient silver coin from Greece is believed to be from the 400 BC era. That means that it's over 2,400 years old. Labyrinths can be drawn on different things two-dimensionally to just create a pattern or some type of decoration. Labyrinths can also be created three-dimensionally, like this hedge labyrinth created out of bushes. Here's a labyrinth created out of stone. Labyrinths are sometimes important settings for ancient myths. This Greek myth about Theseus has him walking into a labyrinth to kill the minotaur creature. In order to not get lost, he used string and tied it to the entrance of the labyrinth. As he walked through the labyrinth, he unwound the string. After killing the minotaur, he simply followed the string so he wouldn't get lost and he found his way out. Now let's get started with drawing a labyrinth. The first type of labyrinth we're going to create is probably the simplest labyrinth you can. Start by drawing a plus sign on a white piece of paper. In the corner of the plus sign, almost like you're imagining a square, you're going to put four little dots. Now we're going to start connecting our dots in a pattern. Find the vertical line and continue your line out in a curvy motion and connect it to the dot on the left hand side. Now move to the dot that's on the top right hand side and make another curvy line to the, the horizontal line of the plus sign. Now continue moving to the right and continue this pattern connecting each line to the next dot. and your labyrinth is finished. Now you can have a little bit of fun with your labyrinth by first of all creating a pathway into the labyrinth. Maybe you can use other color markers to create a broken line showing how you can get into it. Use other colored markers to make your labyrinth more complex. Now to have some more fun with labyrinths, you can build a labyrinth with things that you find around your home. I happen to have a lot of Legos, so I'm going to create a labyrinth with Legos. I'm following basically the same pattern that I used when I made my drawing. Feel free to rewind the video and to watch the drawing video again if you forgot how to make the pattern. Now it's your turn to create a labyrinth. First start off by drawing a labyrinth. After you draw a labyrinth, 
See if you can build a labyrinth using things around your home. Send me pictures of your drawings or anything that you build. I'd love to see your artwork. You can upload it to assignments or you can send it to me via email. Have a great day.